What's up, Extreme Kids? This is First Lady K, a.k.a. Sister K, a.k.a. KK, a.k.a. Full of Beans for Jesus. How are you, boys and girls of Extreme Kids of the Calvary Church of Ottawa, as well as our Extreme Kids around the world? How are you? We are so happy to be able to have our midweek story time with all of you, and we just pray that you are just enjoying God's Word and that you are taking some time to do some coloring for Jesus that Jesus can be blessed by your art. Maybe you're writing stories for him. Maybe you're doing poetry. Maybe you're doing sports for him. Maybe you're playing games for him. Whatever you are doing, we hope you are doing it unto Jesus. Amen. And I hope that you'll take some time to share it with us at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. So we're going to jump right into story time. This week is Frog Wars. Boys and girls, do you like frogs? I like frogs, but I don't like to touch them. I like the little tiny ones that jump around in your backyard. When I was little, all my friends wanted to catch them and hold them. And I was like, no way, ma'am. I'm just going to let them be. But they're so cute. Are they not? So I hope that you will enjoy this story, Frog Wars. Hmm. Sounds like some sort of video game, does it not? A long time ago, on a countertop far, far away, Junior Asparagus found himself standing beside a mysterious statue of a frog. Suddenly, Kook Sandwalker and Princess Hare Spraya approached Junior and asked if he was sent by God to set them and all the thousands of slaves free from Dark Vizzer's reign. <gasps> a bit confused, Junior was led into a giant throne room to see Dark Visor. <gasps> Dark Visor, he was a bad guy. Junior was very nervous as he stood before the king. After some persuading, he finally squeaked out something about letting the slaves go free. No, came the thundering voice of the king. Then his visor slammed shut. Uh, Oh, okay. I tried, Junior shrugged. Trying isn't really my thing. Then stick with me, a big tomato said as he came into the room with his walking stick. We won't give up until Dark Visor gives in. My name is Mo, and God wants you to let his people go. The tomato demanded of Dark Visor. (laughs) Dark Visor shouted back, forgetting to lift his visor before speaking. Dark Visor would not let the slaves go free. But did Mo give up? Nope. He put his faith in God. God caused many plagues to come upon the land to convince Dark Visor to let the slaves go free. The water, it turned into grape juice. And there was an invasion of frogs. Junior didn't want to hang in there any more. He knew that God wants us to put our hope in him and keep trying. Then God sent a deep darkness that finally caused Dark Visor to let the slaves go free. Hooray! Everyone shouted as they marched out of, out of the land. Junior rode in a wagon with his new friends. Wow. Suddenly, Dark Visor yelled, He changed his mind. The guard shouted, Go after them! The empire was striking back. The slaves were trapped in front of the big frog pond as the king's army caught up to them. But did Junior give up? Nope. He had hope. God made the lily pads come together as stepping stones over the water so everyone could get to the other side. As Dark Visor's army followed behind, the lily pads returned to normal. The guards sank into the mud and water. Glug, 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 glug. The slaves cheered. Yay! 
Because they had trusted God and not given up, God showed them a way to escape. From then on, Junior knew how important it was to never, ever give up. Isn't that a wonderful story, boys and girls? You know what? This is from the book of Exodus, the story of Moses from Exodus chapter 3 to chapter 12 that you can read again with your mommies and daddies. This is what Junior Asparagus has to say. Wow, I sure did learn how important it is to try hard and not give up. God helped Moses to keep on going over and 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 over again in the book of Exodus. And I know you boys and girls will do the very same thing when things get hard. You will never, ever, ever, ever give up. Let's read again about Moses in Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen my people suffer in Egypt. I have heard them cry out. So now go. I'm sending you to Pharaoh. I want you to bring the Israelites out of Egypt. I will strike the Egyptians with all kinds of miracles, turning the river, turning to blood, frogs, gnats, flies, boils, darkness, and more. Ew! After that, Pharaoh will let you go for sure. Moses did all of those miracles in the sight of Pharaoh. Finally, oh, he was so tired. Pharaoh said to them, get out of here. You're exhausting me. You and the Israelites just leave my people and go. Oh. Then Pharaoh and his officials changed their mind. They said, uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh, what have we done? We've lost our slaves and all the work that we have now, we have to do it. No. The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, hold your wooden staff out. Reach your hand over the Red Sea to part the water. Then the people can go through the sea on dry ground. What? That'd be crazy. The people of Israel went through the sea on dry ground ground. There was a wall of water on their right side and on their left side. The Egyptians chased them in over 600 chariots. That'd be so scary. Then the Lord told Moses, reach out your hand over the sea. The water flowed back. It covered the entire army of pharaohs that had followed the people of Israel into the sea. Glug, 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 glug. Not one of the Egyptians was left. They were all gone and couldn't follow them ever, ever again. So to, uh, so Bob the Tomato would like us to know this, kids. He says, Larry and I both learned a lot from that lesson. It's always easier to give up on something than it is to keep trying. Larry didn't stop inviting Cornelius Corn and Barbara Beat to church. And Cornelius finally went with us last week. Yay! God just wants us to remember to do our best. That's all any of us can do. Next time we feel like giving up, we just need to think about what God wants us to do. And that is keep trying. And remember, God is always on our side because he made each of us so very special and he loves us so very much. Isn't that a wonderful thing to remember, boys and girls? Let's do our Bible verse for this week. It is Psalms 31 to 24. I'm so excited to see the dances that you guys are going to make to this psalm. I hope you'll send it to me so I can see. So let's say it together. Be strong, all you who hope in the Lord. Never give up. God, get your little finger out there and tell people like a mama, never give up. Let's try it again. Be strong, all who hope in the Lord. Never give up.
One last time. Let's see how funny you can make it sound. Be strong, all who hope in the Lord. Never give up. There you are, boys and girls. What a wonderful reminder for us, especially in these times where everything is upside down. We can remember to never give up. Thank you for boys and girls for being with KK, Sister K, a.k.a. Full of Beans for Jesus, a.k.a. First Lady Hanscom from Calvary Church. We are so thankful that we get to have this story time with you. God bless you. I hope we get to see you soon. Mwah!